What's up you guys? It's your girl Loverly and I am back with another video. You see the thumbnail and the title. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing another Balloon Garland kit, but this time we're reviewing a Balloon Garland kit from a new balloon brand, Ellie's Balloon. If you guys would like to see the full tutorial or the full review, make sure that you stay tuned and watch the entire video. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me your feedback down in the comment section below. Let me know if you like how it turned out and let... Oh, and also let me know if you'll be giving this balloon brand a try. But without further ado, let's just get straight into this review. All right, you guys, so here I have the Ellie's Party Balloon Garland Kit. And when they reached out to me, they asked for my specific colors if or if I have like a specific theme that I'm going with. And I've decided to go with like a Gag City theme. If you guys don't know what Gag City is, it's like the theme of Nicki Minaj's concert. And because tomorrow is the last day of the concert, I've decided to like go, I've decided to like dedicate this video to the end of that era. So I send them a picture, I'm gonna put it right here. I send them a picture of this headscarf from Nicki Minaj's website. And I told him like to come up with a color scheme or a color palette to mimic this image. And that is what I'm expecting to be in this box. So let's open it and see if they said the right colors or the perfect colors. Let's open the box. Now I'm gonna show you guys everything that comes inside a Ellie's Party Balloon Garland Kit. Here are all of the balloons that came in the kit and I'll be using magenta, pink, white, and also silver. They also sent me some glue dots and balloon garland strips, but if you know me, you know that I won't be using that balloon strip. So I'm ex so I'm expecting to have like three different sizes in each color. I have all of the balloons out now and I am so loving their packaging. Like, look at this. This is too cute. Like, that's so chic. I love it. So I'm going to be creating my balloon garlands the same exact way I created all of my balloon garlands. I'm not going to be using any 260s or fish line or balloon garland strips. I'm going to be tying them by the neck. I'm mostly excited to feel the quality of these balloons and just see if they hold up throughout my whole process. So let me go ahead, start inflating these and then get to building. I'll be using this black shimmer wall. I don't know the size right now. I did not use all of the shimmer panels that was in the box, but this is what I'm going with right now. It is about six or six and a half feet tall. No, I think it's six feet tall. And width wise, I think it's about like five feet or less, not sure. But I'm gonna go ahead and start inflating these balloons and then I'm going to show you guys the process of me making the balloon garlands. So let's get into it. <laughs> I can clearly see that there is about four different sizes. So I have five inches, 11 or 12 inches. I think these are 11 inches, um, 16 inches, and also 36 inches. I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead, inflate every single balloon right here because I want to use all of them. And then I'll be right back.
right, you guys. So I inflated all of the balloons and I created my clusters. I made clusters of eight balloons. And for each color, I have three clusters right now. I have a pair of each color also on the floor that I'm, go I'm just going to save just in case I need it for later on. But there's like a pair of each color on the floor right now. For the five inches, I have four clusters of four for each color. So go ahead and do your calculation if you like to know the amount of balloons I used for this backdrop. So I'm going to go ahead and create the garlands for the backdrop. I'm going to put up the base first and then I'm going to go in and like add any like special things to it like the fillers and like the jumbo balloons. But right now, because the balloons are so, the balloon clusters are so big and I don't think that they're like flexible enough. They're kind of stiff. Not the balloons itself, but like the space for me to tie each cluster together is it's like is tight and I don't want to pop it with my nails because I have nails on so I'm going to go ahead and just tie two clusters together at a time and then attach it to the backdrop then I just go from there all right you guys so I have some 260 balloons right here that I'm going to be using as like attachment points they're also the same balloons used to make balloon animals I get these questions all the time what what are you talking about what is 260 so these are what we call 260 Q balloons and I'm going to be tying it onto the backdrop then add the balloon garlands to it and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do that I like to attach it to the pole and the shimmer wall little pole itself so I tie it between so I tie it on those two things like that I secure it onto the pole first by making two knots and then I make a knot at the end. That way I end up with a hoop and this hoop is what I will be putting around the balloons and it will keep the balloon in place on the backdrop. So I'm going to make a couple of these onto the pole, like some up there, some down here, and then I'm going to go ahead and start adding my clusters to the balloon backdrop.
All right, you guys, so I ran into a little bit of a issue. So I only have this amount left and I need one last cluster for the bottom. So what I did was inflate six of my own white balloons and I'm going to go ahead and add this to that cluster of six so I can finish off the balloon garland. I thought it was enough balloons, but it's not because I, you guys know that I like to make the bottom of my balloon garlands like go out to the side, like have a nice little flow, but because it's not enough balloons, I won't be able to do that. So far, so good though with the quality of the balloons. I only lost like four and it's because I over inflated um, three of them and my nail like popped another one of them. But I really like the quality of these balloons. Like they're very sturdy. So I'm gonna go ahead, add this last cluster to the garland, then go in and add the two jumbo balloons that I have and then the fillers and add my signage and then we'll be done. Alright you guys, so we're all done with the backdrop. Let me know down in the comment section how you feel about the finished product. You can find the finished product at the end of this video where I'll be posting pictures and video montage of the entire thing. I think it turned out cute. I don't think I had enough balloons, but for the most part it turned out cute. I just wish I had a little bit more balloons. Anyway, shout out to Ellie's Party for sponsoring today's video. I definitely love their balloon quality. It's 
it's good. As I told you guys earlier, only four of them popped and it was all my fault. I overinflated them and my nail actually popped one of them. So go ahead, check out Ellie's party. The direct link to their website will be down in my description box below. Also, you guys, I checked it out earlier today and I saw that they do custom garland kits. So if you guys have like a party coming up and it's like a specific theme and you need specific colors, then you can put all that information on the website and they'll come up with the perfect kit for you so check them out come back and let me know how your experience went i would love to hear about it anyways if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and as i said i would love to hear your feedback about this video down in the comment section below but that is all for today i'll definitely catch you guys in my next one bye